Hello guys and welcome to the new features on GTA Online Next Gen and uh, some of them are pretty cool. Um, i got to say though I'm not too sure if they are actually on the current gen and they've sort of been updated on there but I'm pretty sure they haven't. I'm pretty sure it's just a next gen only thing. Especially, first thing we're going to come to is the first person and obviously I'm running around in first person now. I can see my hands and feet which make it even better and it is pretty, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this is third obviously, and when I click the change view button, I can go back into first. And in my opinion, first looks a, l a lot cooler than third, I think. But I think, for some reason, I think the graphics look slightly better in third. I don't know why, you probably can't see it in this room. But when you're outside, and it's nice and sunny, and everything's sort of shiny and stuff, it looks... It looks a lot nicer in third. I think it's just because you can see more. But in first, I mean, it is just generally fun. It is faster to move as well, because obviously, obviously you can see I'm just sort of jogging kind of now. If I go downstairs, there's a mirror down here. Um, I can, I'm sort of jogging, I can sprint, and it, it feels a lot like COD as well. So, mirror. See, if you can see, I'm just sort of... Oh my god, look at my eyes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so as you can see, I'm just sort of like... I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of a weird run. It's... Not really a GTA style run, it's kind of weird. <laughs> um, but then obviously if I go in third, I'm sort of doing the more realistic walk. Um, but you're probably wondering, what the hell is that on my eyes? And I will come to that soon. Um, they are contact lenses, actually. And I'll show you where you can get them from. And uh, there's a couple of other things. I've got quite a lot of things to show, actually. Uh, that are pretty, pretty cool. Um, but I'll show you one now. But you can't see this in the actual first person. Um, I mean, you can equip it kind of thing. But you can't actually... Um, see it work kind of thing. So if I go back out of this, um, oh wrong button. If you hold back, you can actually go all the way down to walk style, and normal is just the general normal walk. And then this is the one of my, this is my favourite one. I, I just find it funny. Uh, then it's femme, which is obviously like female. And uh, look, <laughs> if I can I, <laughs> yeah, swing those hips like the women walk. Then gangster. Is a bit more of the sort of show off kind of thing. Kind of looks a bit like a women's walk, a little, just with the swinging arms a bit more. Um, posh? I, I don't, see, I don't really know. Does that look posh? I don't know, see, to be honest. Uh, then it's Tough Guy, and this one is pretty cool. See, so many people walking like that. Just that little, little start up with the arms sort of side, like stretched on the side. It, it's quite funny. Then we're back to normal. So there's a couple of different things. My favourite was Femme, just because of the way <laughs> uh, stupid Asian Murray, as I call him, um, doing that stupid walk. Anyway, that's the walk styles. And if I go back to the first person now, I'll show you another f cool first person thing on this. If I go to inventory and I go to accessories, I can actually equip glasses. And so, yeah, I'm just equipping glasses. They just look normal. But if I go out of this... I'm not sure, I think it's just gone a bit glitched a minute. If I quickly go out of the view and go back into it. See, as you can see, it's a little bit tinted on the sides. And um, that's because of the glasses. If they have a sort of um, colour tint. If, do I have any colour? Other... Yeah, right, these look sort of bluish. Have I got these on? Or is it doing that glitch thing again? It goes a bit glitched, so you might have to go up back over it. Okay, so I can't really see any difference in this. Um, but there probably is. Um, but... Anyway, these actually change the way you look. There we are. Look, can you see it's sort of a bit more of a, a bluey sort of colour. Um, it looks a lot more easier to see in daytime because obviously the sun's out and stuff and you can see a bit more. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, so that's pretty cool. But I think one of the main things is the reason why a lot of people got actual next gen GTA is because of the graphics. Like, I mean, they're going to come with better graphics than me, but a lot of people went for it. I mean, I that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get it, because look at this. Look at that. I mean, if you can see the difference between 360 or PS3, normal normal GTA, and then you go to next gen, the, oh, the light look, oh, nighttime looks amazing. It, it looks incredible. You go out to sea on your boat. This is what I did the first time, like the first time I had nighttime. Went out to sea, on the jet ski, look behind me, and you can see this whole thing. It looks, ah, oh, it looks so good. It's incredible, and um, it is really, really cool. Um, but I'm just going to drink some of this. I'll show you what the drinking animation does. Everything has an animation as well, which is pretty cool. And have some horrible green juice. Mm. 
and uh, plastic fruit there. Um, but yeah, so that's that's an animation. <laughs> it's not really new, but it looks pretty cool. Um, I'll show you now some of the other stuff. So I think this is actually another um, new feature in Next Gen, and that is if you're in first person. I think it's only in first person you can do it. If you hold A, you actually like crouch, and that is to avoid bullets, basically. Um, if people are shooting through the windscreen, you crouch. Well, that's not really a crouch. Sort of lean down, and uh, you you can just sort of hide away from the bullets. I'm not. I haven't actually tested this to see if you can sort of still kill someone through the head if they're s sort of sitting far away. I don't know, but um, anyway, this looks pretty cool. I think it looks a lot nicer when you're in a van. I don't know why. And, like in a van, it sort of it just looks cool, and in this, it's kind of it's hard to see a little. But obviously, this is driving a vehicle, what it's like, and it, well, a car anyway, and it is, it is pretty awesome, man, it is pretty cool, um, yeah, it is, it is, it is very nice, it's quite hard to drive, because it's just, obviously, you're first person, you can't see the wide thing, but this is what I'm about when I said third person, look at the, just look at it, the car looks so nice, that's the downside, I think, of first person, you can't really see the full potential of the graphics kind of thing, of, like, what they've done, because look at the car, it's got a metallic paint job on it, Looks so nice. And obviously, you can see the neon underneath as well. And uh, if you want neon, you actually come to Pain Spray. You go into the lights, and you can buy it through there, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can get a load of different colours. And it is. I mean, I've got red, and it does look pretty, pretty cool. Um, but I'll actually take you now to a place where you can get eye lens thing, contact lenses, and that is at a barber. Any barber will do. I'm not sure why it's at the at a barber really. We have arrived at the destination, okay, and met the guy decided to roll, roll away. I was going to show you that anyway, but yeah, I've done it for you. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks, in, okay, my car, right, okay, I'll leave it. Um, yeah, so that that was the rolling thing. And here's uh, Neymar, I call him Neymar, the footballer, but he's not actually Neymar, he just looks like him. And uh, Asian Murray has taken the seat. Look at Asian Murray, I'm not sure why I call him that. Um, but here starts, I don't think there's any new ones. But I'm not sure how to actually change the colour. Highlights? Oh! Okay, so I found a new feature. Oh, right, it's so RT. Holy crap. Oh my god! This wasn't on it before, was it? No, it was not. Um, yes. Okay, so I found a new feature, which I wasn't going to explain. And um, this is actually amazing now. So, Shaggy Kills, what I was going to have. Asian Murray is going to have some new hair. He can have highlights as well, so we make make him even look stupider. Let's give him some bright pink hair, like stupid that woman from uh, Lazy Town. Um, how do I change the colour highlights? There we are. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What do we want? What do you want, Michael? Uh, oh no, is this even changing? Anyway, that is the new features for the hair, and that's pretty cool. I don't know why I didn't change that. But new beards, it's, you can do the same thing. A poke, a poke there, poke, t poke, a pace t. Can't remember what you. So yeah, I can't remember what's it. Um, but also you can see how much of a beard you want kind of thing. And this is, they've really gone into detail on this. It's very, very well done. Uh, eyebrows, same thing you can do. Her chest. So now you can actually have chest here. <laughs> very weird. But you can have chest here. Let's uh, make this 100%. So you can have the natural. You can have the strip, the tree. So obviously it looks like a tree. Don't ask me where I got those tattoos from, by the way. That is my <laughs> that's my crew emblem tattoo, and it looks pretty funny. Sorry about the name and the way you probably can't see, but ape. I think I think I'm actually buying one of these because these look very entertaining. Um, ape. So what about some bright blue chest here? Why not? Uh, no, let's have a pink, pink chest here. Oh my god, it looks like someone spilt a highlighter over me. Oh my god, bikini, lightning bolt, love heart, chest ache, happy face, skull, snail trap. <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing. Right, I'm going to have the ape, because why not? The groom, nah, groomed ape? Nah, I'll have the ape. So there you are, I'm having a, a, a chest cut. It's not really a haircut, is it? It's a chest cut. I'm going to show you my guy. He looks pretty, pretty cool with his chest cut there. Look at that. Some Someone spilt a stupid highlighter over him. Contacts, this is where I got the eyes from. Demon I have. They're quite expensive, but they are pretty cool. Alien. Undead. Zombie. Green, if my guy could actually look and stop looking away all the time. Emerald. So, stop looking away. Uh, I'm going to have to follow. Dark brown. You can just basically change the eye colour. That's what it is. Um, obviously, that's what contact, contact lenses do. Um, well, some of, the, some of them do. 
Um, so you can change your eye colour. So if, say if you don't like your eye colour, you can change it to a brown or a blue or a red like mine. So I think this may be the, one of the last things in the actual customization area. is face paints. I don't know if these were here before. Not as many anyway. Um, so some of these look pretty cool. I'm, I'm not really a fan of face paints really, but... I mean, if you if you're into them um, and you want to look like Wade off the campaign, then uh, yeah, you can you can do this, and obviously you can change your opacity or opacity. I can't even say it. This is gonna sound so stupid now, but I can't actually say it. Um, so anyway, that's the make that's the face paints. But I will show you two of the new vehicles that are in GTA Online, and uh, I must say, sorry if I'm actually missing anything here. Uh, you know, it, it's it's kind of hard to remember absolutely everything that's in GTA Online Next Gen. Especially in the online, because there is a lot of stuff. Um, but if you go to your phone, and then you go to no, not that travel and transport, elitist travel. There is a dodo seaplane, five hundred thousand dollars it costs. It is pretty cool, though. I think it is pretty cool, but it is very expensive, obviously. Um, and then if you go to war stock cash and carry, I think it is, and you go down to the bottom. Nope, it's not there. Where is it? Uh, Doc Tees, here it is, I think. Uh, yeah, so if you go to Doc Tees, the Kraken is here, which is the new submarine. 1,325,000. Absolute rip off, because there's no animals to GTA Online yet, and you can't get it on single player. And um, s if they had animals, it probably would be worth it, because obviously you can go adventuring and see the dolphins, or the, the whales, or the sharks, which are some of the new animals, which are pretty cool. So, you know, I, I bought it because I have money. But it's not really worth it at the minute. It's, fa it's faster than the actual submarine that you can get, which is probably one of the reasons why it's uh, quite expensive. Um, but I think I, some of the obvious stuff here now is music, new music. Um, yeah, this one. I, I'm not sure if I can actually play the music out because obviously super crappy, stupid copy, but yeah, stupid copyright is everywhere now these days, and. Um, yeah, so if you know something, something like Robbie, Robbie Williams and Kylie Minogue as kids, yeah. Um, I found though that the music on this game, the only good music is the music I know, rather than what it was like on actual GTA 5 and you know the proper 360 one, or whatever you want to call it. Um, that had music on it that I never heard of, but I enjoyed. Whereas this game, it just annoys me. <laughs> it's like it's so it's kind of crap. It, it's not. Like, they've got a lot of music in this game that I've know, which is good. Like, proper pop stuff. They've got, like, Lady Gaga and stuff on this now. Uh, moves like Jagger. Um, well, for kids. Uh, what else they got? they got? They've got a lot of stuff, to be honest. they got a lot of new new stuff in here. Oh, yeah, one of the last things, I suppose, I, I can't really show you because I'm not actually in the game. I did try and join a 30-player game. I tried it, like, twice, but for some reason it just didn't work. But, yeah, you just heard then, 30 players online. It sounds crazy, it sounds mental, difficult. I watched videos and I heard people complaining about it, saying it's too much and every time they spawn and they die. But, it's it's not that bad, really. I mean, I'm in the only game now, um, which is, you know, it's not really showing much. But, 30 people online isn't as bad as you think it is. It's, it's, it's okay, but it isn't... It, it it's not bad. It isn't bad. That's all I'm gonna say. It's it's not as bad as what people say it is because it's not like as soon as you spawn you die. I mean I I don't even think I've had I've had like one fight with someone on this. It's not it's I haven't had anything bad happen to me. Um but anyway, I think this video is going on for a while. Um but then I have been sen telling you a lot of stuff and I could go on a bit more probably, uh, showing you a lot more of the stuff, but I think I'll leave it there. Uh, if there is any more new stuff that comes out and I can do a lot more videos on them, I will do them. I mean, they're quite fun to do, they're easy to do and it shows you what, what's new if you don't have the next gen. Um, but, yeah, anyway, so please like, subscribe and bye bye guys.